Welcome back to Cask 529 everyone. I'm Brian. And I'm Shauna. Tonight, you can see I've got a few bottles out on the bar top. I got the privilege of setting Shauna up with a blind. You did, and I was super excited when I walked down the steps and seen this light up. And how do they tie together? Stick around one minute, we'll be right back to tell you guys. All right, everyone, on tonight's blind, uh, as you can see, we've got Old Drip Van Winkle, which we just recently reviewed, uh, 10 year. We've got Baker 7, which is a bottle I picked up last month that is a fresh crack for, for tonight. And our Weller Antique 107. Where do they all tie together? Well, they're all 107 proof. Cool. Okay. I'm shocked. Um, I just now see this. This is actually a single barrel. Yes, it's and actually, um, so the old rip is a is a 10 year. Okay. Mm -hmm. The 107 is, I believe they say six to seven year. Okay. Um, and of course, you would think that the Baker Seven is seven year. However, being a single barrel. This particular bottle is eight years, six months. Okay. Okay. Yep. So, um, I guess you could say we got a little better bargain for the dollar, mm -hmm. a little older. Um, speaking of bargains, when we did the review on the old Rip 10, um, we disclosed that I paid $99.99 for that bottle down in Kentucky. Uh, as I was getting my notes together for tonight though, I looked this up on OHLQ's website. Here in Ohio, that bottle retails for $129.99. Win, win, big win. Yeah, which is kind of funny because at $99, I said, nah, I might be willing to pay another $20 over that. So really, I've maxed out my... <laughs> yeah, so if you find it in Ohio, you're not allowed to get I it. I can't, can't buy it, I'm $10 over. <laughs> the, uh, the Baker's 7, uh, retails here in Ohio at $69.99 and the Weller Antique 107 retails at $58.99 so uh, these are pretty similar in price mm -hmm. naturally the old grip is more right. um, these are more obtainable like you can, you can yes. probably get these more than we could ever get I this feel one. like we see Baker's a good bit on the shelf but that's just my recollection. We may not. Okay. Um, the Weller for sure is allocated here in Ohio. However, I would say probably once a month we could find that. It might take a little bit of looking, but uh, we've got a pretty good idea of where to go to find it. Mm -hmm. and, and about once a month. So, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe both the Weller and the um, Van Winkle are now, they're both Satrak. They're both yes. made of Buffalo Trace. Actually, those were those were some points that I that I got sidetracked from. But yes, these are both uh, Buffalo Trace products. Okay, and then this is a Jim Beam? Jim Beam product. Okay. That is correct. Gotcha. Um, and we have never had this, so we're, I'm excited to try it. I'm kind of nervous because I don't know where it's at, but <laughs> this is um, this this product was originally designed by Baker Beam, okay, who was a grand nephew to Jim Beam. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the roots on where that came from. Gotcha. Okay. So, um, like I said at the top of the show, this is blind to Shauna. She does know what's in the glasses. She just doesn't know what glass has what in it. And they're all proof the same, so... They're all 107 proof, which uh, when we do blinds, a lot of times we try to get the proofs as close as we can. This was kind of a rarity in the night that I was able to nail three bottles right on the money. Yep. Um, I could have thrown a fourth one in there, but it was 108 and some change. And I thought, well, three's enough. Three's plenty. So... If you'd like to get started, I would. Um, yes, my and, mouth is watering. And, and guys, um, and we've obviously had a good amount. We've, you know, we've tasted and tested and sampled a good amount of the Antique 107. Um, this is our second time tasting the Old Rip, 
and the Bakers to both of us is brand new so um, that is a neck pour tonight I did you know they were able to set out for a little while opened up but okay so we starting we are nice nose. Um, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of spice. Yeah, it's a, it's almost like a 50-50 split. I mean, I'm getting one's not overpowering the other. I'm getting a little bit of heat on the nose. It's definitely smelling some grain. Um, the corn smell came through. I think a little, a little bit of black licorice too. The nose is really, as your, it gives you all kinds of profiles in it. Definitely peppery. It is very peppery. Um, drinks smooth, I would say. It definitely drinks at 107 proof. Mm -hmm. uh, very smooth, though. Gives you a little bit of Kentucky hug on the back. It's got my mouth watering a little bit. It does. Um, very good. Finishes with a peppery caramel taste. I, I feel like I'm getting... Mm, I gotta taste it again. There's, there's one little flavor that went through it, through the whole finish to... It's very unique flavor. The spice, I'm getting cocoa. You know, I said, um, on the nose, I got a little bit black licorice, and I think that's that unique taste I'm getting. It's very mellow, but it has that that presence of like a black licorice. Um, followed through with more baking spices, a little bit of caramel on the end. Very good pour. The pepper, um, <clears throat> as an after, kind of after the finish, uh, I've got a really strong pepper flavor on my tongue. This one really opens up and there's all different flavors. I'm sure if I took another sip right now, yeah. I'd get something different. I, I really like number one so far. Okay. Do you want to quit there? Maybe. Maybe. Just give me the other two. No, you're going to keep going. This one's a little also a little hot on the nose. I'm cleaning up my sinuses tonight, guys. I think that is uh, a little warmer on the nose, actually. Yeah, that's <laughs> it is I, most definitely. Um, I'm getting it's a very unique. very unique nose. It's not an unpleasant nose at all. It's a it's a pleasant nose, but it's I'm not I'm not able to discern like certain flavor. It's like right. it's maybe the second time when I come back through I can pick out some flavors. It's it is a pleasant nose. It's a little spicy and hot but a very good It's a little creamier to me than the first one was. Very creamy and grainy. I'm getting a lot of grain notes, a cereal. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> finish and super sweet. It does. Super sweet. It does. I thought it's, maybe that was just me, but it, it really kind of 
exploded with sweetness it, on the it finish. Did. Yeah, <laughs> it's super. Um, it's that's why I didn't say I didn't say anything because I was like, well, that was weird. It was. <laughs> it was a. <laughs> Um, not much of Kentucky Hug on that one. I'm shocked no. because on the nose, I thought this one was really going to be hot, um, but it wasn't. It drinks super yep. smooth. I agree with that. It was definitely warmer on the nose than one was. Minty. I'm getting some mint. This, the cereal grain turns into a sweetness. I don't want to say it's vanilla, but maybe a um, heavy toffee. It has a little bit of notes of um, cocoa on it as well, on the finish. But it's very minty. Puts me a little bit in mind on the finish, I like butterscotch. Uh, it's that got the creaminess to it. Mm -hmm. It's not quite as sweet as butterscotch, but it, it kind of takes me down that road. Yeah, that's why I just want more toffee. But um, number two is like a little surprise in your mouth. <laughs> it really is. It it opens up and goes all different directions. I I really like it. I'm saying it's very unique and I'm not sure if it's one I've ever had before. I'm going to be shocked if it's one that I've had. I really think that one might be the Baker 7. And if that is the Baker 7, I really, really like it. Okay. Well, let's hope it is. So far I like both of them though. I mean, putting them in order. We, I'm just saying this one's a unique one that I don't know if I've had. It really, there really has never been a lot on the show, guys, that that we can't find something good about. But these have both been, I would say, above average. Yeah, good. I'm getting a heavy caramel on this one. It's a nice, they all have nice noses. I, I can't complain about any of them. This one doesn't have the heat on it like one and two did. It's nice no, and mellow. It's, it's kind of funny. It's one, one when we, when we smelled one, I said it's kind of an even mix. And then when we smelled two, I said, it's a little warmer than one was, but now on three, I feel like it's sweeter. Yeah, the nose is sweeter, most definitely. Heavy notes of tobacco. I, number three has to probably be my favorite nose of all these. It's really good. It's probably going to be the biggest surprise when you... Super sweet as it enters your palate. Finishing like through, sorry. As it goes t towards the finish, it starts to heat up a little bit on your tongue. Yeah, it, it, but not. But it stops on your tongue. It doesn't. It doesn't go down. It doesn't go down. But it, I mean, super sweet. Then goes into a little bit of heat with spice, caramels, vanillas. There's another sweet note to it. It's I'm not getting the I'm not getting the sweet notes tonight that I usually get on any of these. <clears throat> this one actually might be a little bit nutty. I'm getting a little bit of nutty flavor to it. it. 
definitely the spices last all the way through it. That sweet note's still definitely there. Definitely heavy on the caramel. I, I, ha I have to admit, this lineup is amazing. It literally is amazing. But I can tell you, I don't remember liking the Weller 107 like I like any of these ones. Well, I liked it. Initially, no, we didn't really, we didn't hate it, but it wasn't really something that we looked to. But I would say the last couple of times we've had it, we've been kind of fond of it. I, I, I understand what you're saying. You, if this was a double blind, you would not even imagine that it's one of those. No. But it is one. <laughs> Are there's you sure? No, there's no trickery. It's in there. Okay. We'll it's go, like go. ragu. Back through real quick and line these up for you. Which is going to be really hard. Try to save a little bit in each glass. Okay. So that when we reveal what is Baker's, maybe we can talk about it a little bit. Okay. You know, it's funny, um, when I'm tasting, there's a note that I'm always looking for, and no matter how good the bourbon is, I'm always a little if bit... If there's no cherry in there, she <laughs> doesn't like it. I'm always a little bit disappointed if it's not there. Um, none of these have that note, but they you are all start still dropping fabulous. cherry juice on your It's not the same. It's not the same. The cherry note is a note really hard for Brian to pick up. But I, I, when I get a pour that has that cherry note, it's just fantastic. Okay, I changed my mind. Number two has the best nose. <laughs> I like the tobacco and stuff on this one. This one smelled really good. Mm. This is going to be hard. I'm going to cheat tonight. I'm not going to put them in any order. Okay. I really enjoyed that minty note on number two and the whole cocoa and all that stuff that mixes. It's just like a little flavor burst in your mouth. It, it's it's a good one. The, the nose is good. Number three is really good though. This is hard. I am. I'm going to put them in an order. And it's, <laughs> but I'm, I'm stacking tonight. I'm stacking. And I don't, you can tell me. And I you're can't. stacking them one, two, and but three. Or no, I'm not. All one. I'm going to say, I'm going to say that I'm. I'm not done with number one yet. I Go can ahead. still put mine in order, right? I guess. I'm going to say that number one is going to be my number one tonight. And two and three. Pretty equal to me. Um, there's things about each of those that could put them a, ahead of the other, if that makes sense. Like there's there's characteristics of each of them that I like, and they don't both have the same characteristics. I'm going to put mine in actually one, two, three order. However, I do want to just make make it very clear. That if you poured any of these for me without telling me what any of them were, I would be more than happy to drink any of them at any time. So just because I'm putting them in order does not mean <laughs> that I like I don't like any of them. So I'm actually changing my order to two, three, one. I'm putting one in last place where you put it wow. kept it in first. <clears throat> yeah, I did. I really like the nose on, they all had good, they all had nice noses, okay? 
second time through though number two um, the nose on it really caught my attention not judging it based on the nose but just letting you know that's what really caught my attention first time through second time through number two had that minty I don't get mint a lot on my pores I, I really don't but it had like a nice minty refreshing sweet and it just went into all these different notes it was like a complete surprise um and that's why i'm putting it first three not uh, pour three and pour one were just they are good too i mean fabulous pours but number two for me tonight knocked it out of the park. i think it's key that you keep stressing tonight because <clears throat> normally i like a sweeter note on the palate mm -hmm. and two and three provided that tonight and I didn't feel one did but whatever I've got going on tonight one without the sweetness was just more appealing to me tonight yeah, I get that. <clears throat> and so it, it was just hard to, to split these up so okay, okay you want to see what we got I do. So let's go with my order since you know what they are. Okay. What was number two? So you have put Old Rip as your number one. <laughs> the hardest bottle to get. Why would that not I really be? thought that was Baker's because I don't rem I We just reviewed that a few days ago and I don't remember getting that minty note on it. Mm -hmm. And then your number two, which was bottle three, was the Weller Antique. And your last place was Baker 7. Last but certainly not. So it's really good too. the cheapest? No, not the nope. cheapest. Probably, probably what is going to be the easiest to get is your least favorite. Which well, makes perfect sense. But to it's me. still good. I would drink it. And I, the hardest to get, absolute hardest to get, is your number one. Okay. So how many people, be honest, leave us a comment. How many people would really have been disappointed if the Van Winkle had came in last for both of us? I mean So why do you think I had to stack these two? <laughs> because you knew what they were. Because you were gonna put it in last. I, no. You? I was torn, I was really torn on which order I was going to put them in, and it wasn't fair to either of them. Hey, all I can tell you was I am so glad that you did this lineup tonight, and here's why. I am always adamant in saying you do not need, I am, you do not need to go and try to hunt for these bottles because there's a lot of good bottles that we can just go in and get. And it's true, there are a lot of good bottles that we can just go to the store and get. I and so, don't know that any of those right now, tonight. This is really <laughs> good for me to see that a, a Van Winkle is worth really going and getting and hunting because... Wow, you guys heard that, right? Because it is truly good, okay? It is truly, truly good. I don't remember I'm, when we, yes, when we did the review, it was good that when we tasted it Friday night after the, the last Friday night live, it was good. But tonight, it was super good, and I don't know if it's just because it's been opened a little bit, but that, that just flavor burst that goes into your mouth was awesome. Okay, so, Baker 7, uh... If I go to the map, it is available as of right now in limited supply, uh, which means they might have one or two bottles sitting in, in the store, probably not even on the shelf. But quite a few stores, but they're in larger markets. They're in your Columbus markets, your Akron, uh, Dublin, which is a suburb of Columbus. Um, so this, this is available. It's kind of funny that it would be showing up. It's kind of midweek when we're filming this. Uh, so it's kind of funny that it would be showing up unless they had it. Mm -hmm. 
It is good. I, I'm tasting it. Yeah, it's, it's... I never said any of these were bad. I, so it's... I didn't say you did. I know when we were in Kentucky a couple weeks ago, gosh, time flies, you know? <laughs> I feel like it, it was just yesterday, but it was actually a couple weeks ago. We could find this. We did see this, Baker 7, the multiple we stores did. that we were in. Which was actually a couple weeks after I had acquired this. Mm -hmm. I may have given a little bit of a hard time, like, oh, so you had the option to pick other things, but we're finding this one everywhere now. <laughs> I may have done I may have done that. Says she that has never been on a bourbon hunt. It's not true. Not the scale of what that was. However, I think we're getting her geared up to tackle one of those with with the game. Well, I think we are. Who said that? You did. You did. I was just trying to appease you. Well, <laughs> you shouldn't have done that <laughs> because it's going to stick. I'm not going, guys. Rex uh, needs a babysitter. Yeah, that's why I'm here. No. So overall, I mean, what do you think of that? I it's it's kind of uh, there's char to it. Mm -hmm. I get some char. Uh, I like it. It's got a nice oak flavor. You it's know, not too strong. <laughs> it it's super funny because when I first went through this, I had guessed number two was Baker's Seven because it was so unique tonight, and I didn't feel like I've ever tasted it. Um, obviously, it wasn't. It was the Van Winkle. And I had tasted it, so it's good. I, I have no other words for it. It's good. It's a it's a good solid pour, um, especially for the money. If you can if you can find it and get it, I would definitely pick it up. Obviously, if you find any of these three, I would pick them up. Weller 107 is solid. And I think we usually have a spare one of those here. We actually only have one, so I mean probably need to get another one because that one's getting close to being a bottle kill. Getting close to bottle kill. So, hey, not to delay this any longer. No, guys, if you would please take a minute and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you have not already subscribed. Uh, both of those we really greatly appreciate. Drop us a comment. Let us know what you think of the lineup. Are we nuts? I know everybody's going to be like, oh, you chickened out. You didn't put them in order. but That's because you knew what it was. <sighs> yeah, I probably w I, I would have put them in order. I'd have been really hesitant had I had it been blind for me because I knew what was on the line. But <clears throat> you know what? I wasn't hesitant at all, to be honest, because to me, Brian and I always try to provide everybody with a true review. I don't care what he has up here. I don't care if he would have a double eagle rare. Whatever it is. If I don't like it, or if it's not as good as another one, it's not going first. That, and that's true. Well, we are not bashful if we've got a $150 bottle up here. Not that the double eagle rare is that. But <laughs> if we had a couple hundred dollar bottle or $200 bottle up here and we did not like it, we're not going to tell you it's good. Yeah, no. Nope, none of them support this channel, so I'm going to give you an honest review. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so anyway, like, comment, subscribe, share if you'd like. Um, appreciate you guys watching, show after show. And until next time, be safe, everyone. Thanks, everyone.